Adventure, guys and dolls, welcome back to Queenie and London. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Here I am outside the gorgeous St. James's Palace, right at the bottom of St. James's Street, one of my favourite streets in all of London. And down there we have Pall Mall. Now, why am I standing outside this gorgeous palace today? Well, as the title might have given it away, I am going to walk you through a guard change. Now, I haven't come to see a guard change since it became the King's Guard and no longer the Queen's Guard. So I'm pretty excited to, before I go any further, ignore the clock up there. It is completely out. <laughs> it's a lot before then. It's very, very early. It's about half past nine and you do need to kind of get here a little bit earlier. Um, if you want a good spot for the guard change. Now, a lot of people will instinctively gather at Buckingham Palace, the gates of Buckingham Palace, to watch the changing of the guard. But it's actually spread across three sites here, St. James's Palace, Buckingham Palace, and Wellington Barracks. And, oh, hello, look at this, hiya. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it's spread across three sites. So there are a number of places you can stand to get fantastic um, vantage points. So brilliant photos and videos if you want to capture those. So stick with me and today we'll have a little look at those and I'll walk you through it. Um, if you're planning a trip to the capital and you want to see a guard change, which I would recommend because it is tremendous fun, there's lots of pomp and ceremony and we all love a bit of that, don't we? Um, marching, good music. If you are planning a trip, don't spend loads and loads of money on a tour guide who will have you pressed up against palace gates for hours before the actual guard change begins. You can get many, many good views along the way completely free of charge so i hope you enjoy the video today i'm getting really really geared up for the coronation i'm reading all about it i'm feeling quite monarchical I, <laughs> i'm ready i'm so ready and i'm really excited to bring you all the goings on in london at the time of the coronation in may so stick around if that's your thing too now before i go any further i'm not actually going to tell you too much about beautiful St. James's Palace today because I'm actually planning another video in the not too distant future, oh look traffic jam, um, about well let's just say the palace will feature quite heavily so stay tuned for that. So St. James's Palace is actually my personal favourite, it's magical, my personal favourite royal residence. It was actually commissioned by that fascinating chap, Henry VIII, in 1531. And the site was actually a former leper hospital. And Henry wanted to repurpose it for a sort of retreat, a London retreat from the nearby palace of Whitehall. The uh, palace of Whitehall burnt down. It did used to span the entirety of the length between the Palace of Westminster, so the Houses of Parliament and Trafalgar Square. So that is St James's Palace and it actually stretches all the way down there along Clifford Row. And we are going to head over there down Marlborough Road to the right of my shot there where we're going to get our first brilliant vantage point for the beginning of the changing of the guard ceremony. I will see you over the road. It's a cute little dog over there, look. Oh. <laughs> Whilst we're watching the ceremony, I'm going to tell you as much as I can about its history, about what is actually happening, <laughs> and who the actual guards regiments are. So here we are, once you've walked along the length of St. James's Palace, you'll want to turn off here. I'll give you a view. And you want to go down there where there's a few people milling about. So we're going to watch the very beginning of the guard change ceremony 
from Friary Court, just up ahead on the right hand side here. Now you'll probably recognise this if you avidly, like me, watched uh, the proclamation of King Charles III back in September last year. It was from the balcony overlooking Friary Court that the Garter Principal, Principal King of Arms, I believe that's the full title, he proclaimed Charles as our new monarch. And last year, incidentally, was also the first time that a meeting of the Accession Council attended by Privy Councillors was televised for the first time. So subjects were allowed to see inside that very, very ceremonial moment. I was literally transfixed by that. I was watching GB News, uh, a news channel here in the UK and uh, one of my favourite historians, brilliant, brilliant, David Starkey, Professor David Starkey, he was doing a lot of the commentary and he literally couldn't be matched for the incredible breadth of knowledge that he had about the whole ceremony. So if you're interested in that, you're right, thank you. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you can probably find some clips of him and another gentleman called Rafe Hadel Manku, another brilliant royal commentator, here on YouTube. If I can find any for you, I will link them below. my dream to have a house with a turret. <laughs> Shall we walk under the turret on our way through? I'm going to give you a tip. If you do come and watch the ceremony from the beginning here, so as the old guard leaves St James's Palace to switch with the new guard. Don't stand on this side because you'll be moved. Even if you stand on the pavements, you'll be moved. Also, don't stand in front of those gates there or on the corner there because you'll get a police mount in front of you and you won't see a thing. What you want to do is to stand as near to the middle where those gates are going to open as you actually can where these people are sitting is excellent by the monument don't stand on the monument either the mounted police will shout at you so this is how it's looking so far not too bad and just like that with a click of my fingers and a little editing magic. Here I am at the gates of Buckingham Palace. I did tell you there were multiple spots to watch the guard change. So I'm gonna show you where it's good to stand in here. where the new guard come in from Wellington Barracks and where the old guard will retire to following the ceremony in the forecourt. So where I'm standing now up against these railings by this gate, just to the right of the balcony is a good spot because you'll get to also see 
the old guard detachment from St James's approaching from the mall, the mall, <laughs> the mall. I keep doing this wrong today, the mall, you'll see them coming in this gate as well. So this is a pretty good spot to stand if you can get here and this is what you want to see. If it's a quiet day, you might also stand half a chance of being able to press yourself up against the railings there and watch the proceedings in the forecourt. I'm going to head over to the Queen Victoria Memorial over there because that is indeed my favourite spot. If you'd rather look down on things and become a little candle, I recommend a perch on the birthday cake. You'll get a cracking view of the incoming guard from Wellington Barracks and you'd get quite a good view of the ones coming past this bit of the Mao in the forecourt. <laughs> Choose to stand this side of the birthday cake looking out towards Admiralty Arch at the end of the Mao. You're gonna see the old guard coming from St James's and you'll see the new guard detachment going back there but you're not going to see a lot else because the gate is off to that angle where the new guard come in so you're not going to see a lot. Don't forget though if you just want to capture the atmosphere it's a big old space so just being here and chancing your luck is okay. <laughs> Nobody is standing on the red carpet of the road here at the front of Buckingham Palace. I am standing right on the barrier underneath the birthday cake, the Queen Victoria Memorial. This gives me a good view of the incoming guard from Wellington Barracks through those gates. They'll march right in front of me here and go into those gates there. You will also be in a good position to see the outgoing guards leave Buckingham Palace on their way back. So this is a good place to stand if you can get here. Over there is a good place to stand, but I think you get to enjoy a bit more of the march if you stand here. So whilst we're standing here waiting for it all to kick off, what exactly is the changing of the guard? As well as being an important military tradition, it reminds us of the close relationship between the troops and their head, the sovereign and the king. So it marks the moment when the old guard change places with the new guard. Today I'm filming on Wednesday the 1st of March so we've got the Nyat Majan Company Grenadier Guards coming on to duty and they are replacing the number 7 company Coldstream Guards. So they'll be coming from Wellington Barracks, the new guard and we'll see the old guard detachment of Buckingham Palace come out as well as the detachment that is at St James's meet up with their fellow soldiers in the forecourt there. So it's about half past ten now and I'm going to show you what's happening here which is not a lot but we have police mounts getting into position and I'm now going to insert what you'll be seeing if you were standing down at Friary Court in St James's. <coughs> So we're just getting ready to kick things off now. You know that's going to happen when the police mount arrive. The gates are open. Things. So the battalion is going to come out and they'll be inspected by the captain of the King's Guard whilst this is going on. 
at Buckingham Palace, the same will be happening to the detachment there, and in Wellington Barracks, the new guard will be inspected too, so they'll be getting ready.
No music today. We are on the move, guys. Let's go. What colour is it? Is it white and green? These chaps are now on their way to the palace and we are on the way to find the new guard. It's not really musical today, is it? I love those coats. Horseback. They are going down the mile and you can hear the old guard approaching here. So they have gone past each other and they salute. So if you stand on the mile, you'd see that quite nicely. So if you did manage to keep up with the old guard's quick march from St. James's, I applaud you. <laughs> so after you've made your way all along there, you'll reach here. Don't go through there. Take this picturesque little detour through this part of St. James's and you'll come right out just in time to see the new guard at Wellington Barracks. prepping and doing their stuff here outside Wellington Barracks the best place to stand is just in front of that big old tree because they come out of those gates there
collected in there. And you can hear that the band has struck up at Wellington Barracks and the new guard are going to be on their way. I'm going to insert a clip now of what you'd see if you chose to stand there. There you go, Wellington Barracks. They're going to come out of here and come into Buckingham Palace and into the forecourt. symbolic gesture to represent the transfer of responsibility for the palace's security. Um, also in the forecourt there, so if you stood up against the railings, what you would see is the ensigns carrying the respective, like the colours of the troops on patrol, and they'd go from left to right. Also see the captains of the the captain of the new guard like designates special orders to his troops. And in there they will also play a program of music, hopefully. So the actual ceremony which marks the switch over of responsibility that starts at 11 sharp and it's now 11 sharp so they're all gathered on time i'm also going to leave you a little shot after this screen of what happens where at each time so you know <laughs>
after they've done their bit, you might want to hang around because you're going to get a detachment of the new guard, the Nye Majans, head back down the mall to go to St James's Palace. They're guarding there and you're also going to get the old guard going off duty into Wellington Barracks. So they'll go past again. If it were quieter, Typically when it's raining, you would be able to run across and peek at the camera and through the railings over there. But all that's really going on is more inspection and designation of duties. Guard changes happen at Buckingham Palace every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. You can also watch a guard change if you're visiting Windsor Castle on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. As the itinerary source suggests, guards will do 48 hour shifts and a 24 hour shift. They're not standing in sentry boxes for all that time. I think they do something like two hours on and they rotate. So they're not standing in those boxes there for all of that time.
freaking A.
redeveloped. probably catch the end of this morning.
to St. James's. And I'll cut to a shot on the now to show you what it looks like to see them going down to their new posts. So guys, here on the Mall, coming towards us, are the new guard, and that's the detachment that's going to station at St James's Palace. might suggest and the fact that you can probably hear cars coming up and down the mall again now it's some time later I went to go and warm myself up because I got jolly cold standing there for such a long time this morning and I was in great need of a very strong coffee so <laughs> I went along there's loads and loads of little cafes and restaurants uh, around the Victoria area so immediately outside of St James's Park there's loads of things to choose from so you're guaranteed to find something to warm your cockles if you come on a winter's day this is my most favourite memorial it's Queen Elizabeth II's mum and dad I love how they look out onto the mount look at this lovely evening light isn't it pretty so you've got the palace in that direction an Admiralty Arch down there. I'm going to go and head and get my bus home now to see to little Alfred, my little dog, <laughs> to see what he needs for his tea. So I really, really hope that you found this video useful. If you'd like to come and see the changing of the guard and you were a bit confused as to where to stand, I hope it helped a little bit. Also, I hope you enjoyed it if you just fancied having a look at the new King's Guard, like me. <laughs> um, until I see you next time, have a really, really fun weekend, whatever you're up to. Keep warm and cosy, enjoy loads and loads of good treats, and I will see you next week for another video. Until then, loads of love from London, Queenie. Queenie. Not actually of the monarchy but Queenie still. <laughs>